Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making Mississippi pork roast. Now, I have made this before on our channel, and I'll make sure to link that video in the description box, but I have made Mississippi pot roast with beef, I've made it with chicken, and like I said today, I'm making it with pork. So in my crock pot, um, I have a pork shoulder roast that was about 1.9 pounds, and so the recipe calls for a three pound roast, and my pork roast has a bone in it, so it's gonna weigh even less than that. So in order to make it three pounds, I added two um, pork steaks, and those are on the very bottom there. I've actually never made this with pork steaks, so I'm curious to see how it'll turn out. I'm sure it will be delicious, but you need a package of brown gravy or au jus, and you're just gonna sprinkle it on top. and you're also going to need some ranch seasoning. And so I am using spicy ranch, and this will be my first time using spicy ranch. And the recipe calls for butter. I use unsalted butter. It calls for a stick, and I've never used a stick of butter. Actually, that's not true. I used a stick of butter when I first made it, and I really couldn't tell the difference between using a stick of butter and less than that. So I always, excuse me, use less than a stick of butter, and it's perfectly fine. And then the last thing that you are going to add are these peppers. So the recipe calls for about six peppers. Howard and I really like these peppers. And to me, they just add a really good flavor. They're not necessarily spicy. So I usually put in about 12 or so peppers. And I personally do not add the juice. I know some people do. I've tried it with the juice and it was too vinegary for me. So I just add in the peppers. Okay, so now I'm just gonna cover this up and cook it on low for about eight to 10 hours. Okay, so I decided to make some fried kale for our dinner tonight, to go with our dinner tonight. And I like my fried kale with cabbage and I prepare my fried kale the same way that I prepare fried cabbage. So in my large skillet here, here, I have about six slices of thick cut bacon that I chopped up and then as you can see, I've cooked it up and let some of that uh, fat render out. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do is use my shredded kale here. And I got this from Trader Joe's. And all I do is just dump it in there. It's already triple washed. I'm gonna let this cook down for a little bit and then I'm going to add in my cabbage. Okay, so here's our plate. There are the vegetables, of course, and then here is the pork roast. And so I ended up cooking this for about 10 hours. So let me show you inside the crock pot. So um, here is the pork roast. As you, as you can see, it's just falling away from that bone. I mean, it just falls apart. And then I'm trying to see if I can, so this, <clears throat> excuse me, these are the pork steaks and they fell apart too. So, um, Right here are the pork steaks, right here. And then this is the pork roast. And they both taste good, but you can definitely tell a difference in the texture of the pork. Also, um, I mentioned to you guys that I was using the spicy ranch, and it is spicy. So if you're someone that is sensitive to spice, or if you have children or something like that, it is spicy. And the spice is not coming from the peppers. The peppers are really mild, but you can definitely taste the spice of the ranch. All right, so this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making this. It came from our freezer. It's gonna be new to us. We have tried another one of their chicken meals and it was really good. It was a different flavor. I think it was soy and garlic. So we're gonna be giving this a try. And then I went to the Asian grocery store the other week and I grabbed this. 
Japanese yakisoba. And so it comes with three individual packages of yakisoba noodles. So I pulled out two, and then it also comes with a dry seasoning package. To that, I am going to add a little bit of coleslaw to bulk it up a little bit. Normally, I always make rice with, every, with everything, but I'm gonna make noodles today. And then I am just going to stir fry some fresh broccoli. I've already cut it up and washed it off. So let me get started. All right, guys, so in my skillet, I've got my um, coleslaw and I decided to chop up some green onions. And now I'm just going to add my noodles. Just gonna use my hands to kind of break them up a little bit. And I did decide to go ahead and add all three packages of the noodles. Okay, so here's our dinner. Here is the chicken and I like it. Here's the package again. Um, Howard said it was just okay. So he didn't like the other one that I brought. I bought two from this company. I think it was a soy garlic. He didn't care for that one either. I really like it. It's very tasty. Um, and here's the broccoli. I just stir fried that in a little bit of garlic, salt, and then here are the yakisoba noodles. And I, like I said, I went ahead and made all three packages. Here's what it looks like again. Really good. Howard and I both really like these a lot. I would definitely buy it again. It does taste just like the restaurant to me. Um, next time I'll probably add more of the coleslaw in because you can see it kind of, um, withered down and there's not much in there so next time i would definitely add more in but overall i'm pretty excited about our dinner tonight so we'll see you guys next time hey guys so for dinner tonight i made some smothered pork riblets so i guess a few weeks ago now i made pork riblets for the first time and i grilled them well actually howard grilled them this time i decided to smother them i had a package in my freezer i needed to use and I prepared these smothered riblets the same way that I prepared the smothered chicken the other week. So I will make sure to link the smothered, chick smothered chicken and the riblets in the description box so you guys can go back and see um, how I prepared them. And then with it, I am just serving some white rice and some fried cabbage with bacon. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having one of our favorites. I have made this several times before on our What's For Dinner videos. It is Sausage Alfredo, and I will make sure to link the original video, in the description box, so you guys can have that recipe, but it's just smoked sausage, penne, um, heavy whipping cream, and Parmesan cheese, and it is a quick 30-minute weeknight meal. And with it, I'm just serving a side salad. Howard is going to have this. Um, Ken's Creamy Caesar, and I am going to have some Olive Garden salad dressing. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.